Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Boric, and this video is going to be on the best team in baseball as we speak, the San Francisco Giants making the playoffs and how they got there. I already did videos on the Chicago White Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays on them making the playoffs and how I thought they got there via the acquisitions they made and also just who performed well and who I think is going to help them in the postseason for those individual teams. If you want to check them out, as I said, this one is obviously going to be on the San Francisco Giants Gabe Kapler, San Francisco Giants, and let's get right into it. Coming into tonight, the San Francisco Giants are 103 and 54, which is two games above the Los Angeles Dodgers, their division foe, for the best record in all of Major League Baseball. So, how were the Giants able to get to this best record in all Major League Baseball when not even being expected? by some to even be a playoff team. People had the Padres, of course, ahead of them that are not even going to make the playoffs. Then they had the Dodgers ahead of them, who are still a hell of a team, just right behind them as we speak right now. Well, really, they have a team that has a good roster structure mixed of veterans and then some young guys and then guys they just scouted well and picked up from other organizations like Kevin Gosman, for example. He pitched solid last year for them, but then this full season with them, He's pitched great. Yes, he hasn't been as PG King in the second half, but I don't think anybody expected him to carry them and be or expected him to carry them and be that good in the first half. And he was basically immaculate in the first half. Uh, they of course um, picked up uh, Jose Quintana as well, who struggled this year but has experience. And similar to what I said with Dallas Keuchel, who struggled big time as a lefty. He, does, he is a guy that has been around, so you never know. Once the playoffs start, your stats get wiped, you just start restarting. Maybe he's a guy that his experience can start clicking in and do some things. But the real veteran lefty they picked up, that was a good pickup, was Tony Watson, who just takes the ball every day. He's not the Tony Watson he used to be in younger age, but he's 30 freaking 6 now, and he's still pitching good at a 7-4 and record and a 3-9-2 ERA. So you have to give it off to him going over 60 games. It's 62 games this year and pitching a hell of a season, but obviously the other really good pickup they've made, scouting somebody from an org another organization, excuse me, is Anthony D. Scalfani, who's having his best season, a career 409 ERA, he's at a 326 this year, and 12-7, and seven. he's pitching really well, he's still in his early 30s, he's looking like a guy just like Gosman, that are blooming late in their careers, and the Giants have both of them while also having Logan Webb, the youngster who's been one of the hottest pitchers in all of baseball. Um, in the second half of the season, with his overall season stats being 10 and 3, with an under 3 RA of a 2.93, and at 141 innings pitched and 150 strikeouts. So the kid Logan Webb is also killing it. And then they have Tyler Rogers, the side armor out of the bullpen that pitches extremely well. They have Dominic Leone out of that bullpen that pitches extremely well. You got Zach Littell, um, who has been another guy that they were able to find that pitches well out of that bullpen. So this Giants team just really put together a full team. This guy didn't have any really full-blown, full success in the league prior to this year. In Zachary Latoa, was drafted by the Mariners in 13. And then this year, he pitched 61 games in his 4-0 with a 2.88. So as I said, the Giants have great veterans on their team, like the Brandon Crawfords of the world, uh, Evan Longoria of the world, the... Um, who's what you call Buster Posey's of the world. They have all those guys. And then even Wilmer Flores has been around. He's not as much of a veteran like star like those guys were former stars, but those guys really help. And then when you mix them in with the Donovan Solanos that just know how to hit, you mix them in with the Tommy Lestellas who just know how to play the game the right way. The Alex Dickerson, the Steven Duggars who really developed and came into their own this year, going out and getting Chris Bryant, which is a very helpful thing. Obviously, one of the best uh, hitters when he's at his best in all baseball, and I don't think he's going to struggle at all under the bright lights. I see him having a great playoff. Uh, Austin Slater struggled bunny this year, but you still got Austin Slater, who's been successful before in his career, and you could easily see him raking, getting going off of lefty. Lamonte Wade Jr. is having a hell of a season, and Mike Yastrzemski, since he's come up for them, has been great. So they got a mix of great veterans that have been there, done that, and won the World Series with that San Francisco Giants team plus guys that are new and part of the new core, plus a manager that seemed to learn from his past mistakes, but also just a hell of a lot more comfortable being from the West Coast, from California, where he liked his time here in Philadelphia, but he, he never really, the city never really accepted him and got integrated with him, where he tried to integrate himself into the city, 
the city just never really jived with him where he's working out more in California and he's adjusting from his mistakes it seems and doing a lot better there with that coaching staff a pretty damn young coaching staff that's having a lot of success as well and doing a very good job there with them with the mix of veterans and the good mixing of young players plus guys they scouted like the Gosmans, the Scalfani's, the Zachary Littell from different organizations and brought in and that just had very good success this year that's able to carry that team over the top and have them in first place not just in their division but in all damn baseball when nobody expected this team to make the playoffs so I would say the San Francisco Giants out of all the NL teams definitely have as good of a chance as any like the Dodgers once I make that video on them to get to the World Series because they're a team that has those veterans that have experience that have been in the World Series and already won plus new guys that have having great success this year the difference is they don't have the same pitching rotation track record wise since they picked up guys that just started breaking into their own in the D Scalfani's and Gosman's of the world as teams like the Dodgers. But if these guys continue to perform in the playoffs, then hell, they can the sky's the limit for this Giants team. I hope you all enjoyed this video on the San Francisco Giants making the playoffs and being the best team in baseball as we speak right now, and how they got there to this point in the season. A hell of a season by Gabe Capo and the Giants. Hats off to them for the Giants season because nobody expected them to make the playoffs, let alone be the best team in baseball. If you enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. And enjoy the rest of the baseball season as the playoffs is right around the corner. Peace out, everybody.